portal to find the product of two compatible matrices. In order to do so, uh, let us open up uh, C++ and over here uh, we will be starting with a new file and uh, here I will write a simple uh, comment to find the find the product of two matrices. So in order to maximize the video, I will be pressing F5. Now there will be a few, I will be including a few uh, header files that is iostream.h and then I will be including the hash include koli.h and then one more header file I will be including a called as hash include iomanic.h so after that I will be starting with void main and in addition to that I will be opening and I will be closing this over here I will be discussing I mean I will be declaring uh, n number of uh, variables that is a of 4 cross 4 that is uh, first uh, matrix and uh, the second matrix is uh, b of uh, 4 cross 4 and again uh, the product matrix is p of 4 cross 4 and after that I will be declaring uh, the indexes of i, j and uh, then k and then uh, I will be declaring the order of the matrices that is m1, comma, uh, n1, comma, m2 and then the n2 so this m1, m1, n, n1 is the order of the first matrix and m2, n2 is the order of the second matrix so now I will be using uh, the clear function that is CLR, KCR. This is the function that is defined in Kony.h. So now after that I need to get the uh, the order of the ma first matrix over here. I will say enter the order of the first matrix. So after that I will close this uh, double quotes and introduce a blank line called as ENDEL and I'll be reading uh, the order of the matrix that is M1 and then N1. So after that I'll close this. Now I need to get the uh, order of the second matrix also. So for that uh, what I'll do, I'll copy this and then and I'll paste it. So here I'll be just changing the uh, text over here from first matrix to uh, second matrix. And then instead of M1 and M M2, N1, M M1 and N2, I'll be saying it as M2 and N2. So now uh, what I need to do is uh, I need to get the uh, matrix elements of the first uh, matrix. So therefore I'll say enter the elements of the first matrix. And after that, I'll close this and introduce one more black line over here. And here I'll say for int uh, i is equal, I mean i is equal to zero, uh, i less than m1, and then i plus plus. Again within this, again I'll be including the for for j loop. That is for j is equal to zero. So j less than m1. Uh, then again j plus plus so again I will be opening the places and closing the places within this I will be uh, getting the values of uh, a of i comma j that is the uh, first matrix elements so this is for the first one so for that I what I will do is I will copy this again and then paste it over here this is for uh, the second matrix so over here I will say I will change the first to second over here and then instead of a of m1 I will say it as m2 and instead of n1 I will say it as n2 and instead of a of b comma I mean a of i comma j I will say it as b of i comma j so this is the uh, the first uh, order I mean the second uh, matrix elements now what I need to do is I need to check whether they are compatible or not so means to say n1 should be equal to m2 if this condition satisfies then the multiplication is possible otherwise the multiplication is not possible I will be using get ch over here 
so this is the framework so within this if condition what I'll do is I have to um, perform the uh, calculations over here so if n1 is equal to m2 then what I'll do I'll say for i is equal to 0 uh, i less than m1 and then uh, if it is true then it is i plus plus then again I'll be introducing one more for loop for j is equal to 0 and uh, j less than n2 j plus plus and if this condition is uh, true then what I'll do that is if j is less than n2 then what I'll do is I'll initialize p of i comma j is equal to 0 0 is assigned to p of i comma j so within this what I'll do is I'll uh, introduce one more uh, for loop that is k is equal to 0 k less than n1 and then k plus plus so within this uh, I'll be writing uh, the product of p of i comma j is p of i comma j is equal to p of again i comma j plus a of i comma k into so b of uh, what I have to say is I have to say it as k comma j so this is the condition that we have to include for the product of the matrix so after this what I need to do is I need to display the result so in order to display the result I will write the code over here so that I will say c out is equal to and after that within this the result resultant matrix is after that I close this and I will introduce an end end line and within this uh, there, there are two for loops that are required so for that what I will say I will copy the statements over here from here and then paste it over here so now what I need to do is I need to change the uh, few statements over here so for that what I will do is first let me align all these things so after this so now what I will do instead of C in uh, what I will do I have to write uh, change the uh, statements over here so I will say C out set width of some phi uh, and then again I will display P of i comma j then I will say semicolon so once I have changed this uh, set then what I have done is insert, ins in order to uh, insert I need to uh, press the uh, key called as insert button so therefore the text gets inserted in place of the previous text so again if you press insert it will go to the append mode so now again after this I will display uh, the C out statement so after this I will say C out over here I will say it as end end so then I will close this so now in the else part what I will do is I will come over here and if the order if it is not compatible matrices then I will say C out and then I will say matrices are not compatible compatible and then I will close this by using ender so here this is the uh, program that we have to do it now what I'll do I have to uh, before compiling I'll save this particular file as product so now I'll save this now I'll compile this particular program to check out any errors there or not yes of course there are four errors so statement missing brackets yes of course here we haven't uh, written brackets over here now again I'll press F9 so here the size is not known so therefore here what, I'm, what we need to do is that we need to check the syntax of set width so here the set width is not written in the bracket sign I mean uh, square brackets we need to write it as uh, brackets just the brackets so now I'll say F9 you don't see any error so therefore again I'll say F2 to save the file and now I'll press Control F9 so now let me assume that in the order of the matrix is 2 cross 2 and again 2 cross 2 
So now what I'll do, I'll give the elements as 3, 3, 3, and again 3. Again the elements are 3, 3, 3. So now you can see that the resultant packets is 18, 18, 18. And this is how what you will do is you will uh, run the program. So now let me uh, run for the second case. Now the first matrix order is 2 cross 2. The second uh, matrix uh, order is 3 cross 3. So then what happens is uh, I need to enter this. So the matrices are not compatible. But here there is a problem over here. What is the problem? It accepts the element and displays that the matrices are not compatible. So therefore what I should do is I, I should check the condition before that only. That is means to say if uh, yeah after this uh, we need to enter the elements and then we need to uh, discuss whether the uh, we we'll compare the both the things and uh, later on what happens it just displays the matrices are not compatible. So this is all. what you will do is you will write the program for to find out the product of two matrices. But if you don't want to first you can write this if condition one more important thing that we need to understand is this if statement can be written over here also. So first you will check the condition and then you will accept the uh, the elements. This way also you can do the uh, product of the matrix. This is how you will do uh, the C++ program in order to find out the product of two matrices. matrices. Thank you.